So, I get it. You want money. Lots of it. Everyone wants money. So that's why, in this video, I'm going to be telling you lots of permanent money making methods that you can do in Hypixel Skyblock to get rich quick. Firstly, if you're not doing these things, you're losing out on so much money, potentially over 1 million coins per day. Firstly, bank interest. This will give you around 250,000 coins per day and it's just free money. All you need to do is just put money in your bank account and you just get free money. It's just, why would you ever miss it? In the community shop, the second thing is profile upgrades to coin allowance. What happens is every day when you log in, you just get 50,000 coins. It's just free money and you don't have to pay for it or anything. It's completely free. Also in the community shop, you can just get five free minion slots and you, they're completely free as well. You don't have to pay anything. If you look at it this way, it's basically just a free 300k per day. On the topic of minions, minions are a great source of income because they just give you about a million coins a day, over a million coins a day if you have better minions. They do require some setup with snow minions costing about 1 million and the upgrades in them also costing about 1 to 1.5 million. So it is a big investment, but it really doesn't take very long to pay off itself. Also, minions give a loads of skill XP. So for instance, clay minions, they've got me to fish in 40 and I don't even fish that much. Just to prove how powerful these minions are, look how much clay collection I have. I'm literally in the top 1000 for clay collection. Now I've got the boring stuff out the way first, I'm going to go on the actual first money making method. So the first thing I'm going to say is NPC flipping. Now you might think NPC flipping, that's rubbish, but actually it's not too bad. For instance, Slow and Clay are one of the best ones. If I put in a buy order for 20,000 Snow, then you can see for each price, each unit, I'm paying 592.2 coins. This means I'm making about 8 coins profit on each block. This ultimately means I'm, in this order, I'm making a profit of 160,000 coins. Now, if you're an end game player, that's probably not going to sound like much, but this literally takes five minutes to do. And if you just have lots of orders going at the same time, then this is going to rack you up a lot of money. And it's not only snow and clay you can do. Sometimes with raw mithril, you can use enchanted diamonds, enchanted diamond blocks. They all sometimes work. And this, these margins are not actually that great at the moment. A lot of the times you can actually make about 300 to 400,000 coins on each flip. All right, so the next method is foraging. No, I'm just kidding. Do you think I was actually going to do foraging? Have you seen my foraging level? But for real this time, my second money making method is investing. This is where you invest in particular items, pets and gear in order for a specific mayor or event. So then hopefully prices will rise and you make a lot of profit. A YouTuber called Sleepless made a video on where he made 300 million coins investing in dailyless axes. This is because he bought the daily list axes at around 50 million coins and prices were low and then Diana got as elected as a mayor and now the prices have risen to 70 to 80 million coins because everyone wants one. This is how he made such a massive margin of about 20 million per axe. You don't have to do this on such a massive scale. An example of this is investing in wolf pets for when artifacts is elected. The prices rise because people want to do slayers and they start buying wolf pets which makes the prices rise and which means you can sell it for higher. Another example is when Derpy comes around, you can invest in things like enchanted lava buckets, catalysts, or compactors and super compactors. And this is because people want minions for when Derpy comes around, so they buy in and invest in these sort of stuff. For well, the third money making method, I think the forge is quite heavily overlooked as a money making source. For instance, in the forge right now, I've got five gemstone mixtures. These take 4 hours to forge each time and although it does have a requirement of some Heart of the Mountain and I think it requires a bit of Heart of the Mountain like 5 or 6 to be able to unlock all the forge slots, it's definitely worth it. To do the maths, if I look at my orders, for the sludge juice it's around 2.1 million coins and for all the gemstones it's around 1.8 to 1.9 million coins for all of them. This means that the materials cost around 4 million coins, if I look in the bazaar for gemstone mixtures, if I look for 5 of them, the cheapest price is 5 million coins. This means that you're making a million coins every 4 hours, so it's just 250k per hour by doing absolutely nothing. I think farming summoning eyes is probably one of the oldest methods in the game right now. 
but it's still pretty good. Although the bizarre prices of the summoning eyes are actually fairly low at the moment, around 700k, it's been like this for over two years, so it, I'm pretty sure that they're not going to fall down massively after this. I think everyone knows what this is. You just go run around killing zealots and 1 in 400 chance you get a chance to get a summoning eye which sells for about 700k. You do this for an hour and depending on your luck, then you should make around 4 to 5 million coins an hour. What makes this even better is that not only do you have the profit from the summoning eyes that you kill the zealots for, you can also leech dragons that people do in the lobbies and also you can, when you leech them, you can just grab crystal fragments from killing the end crystals that spawn. These go for about 100k each, or 130k if you craft them into catalysts, which is better. Sometimes, the zealots are holding an ender chest, and sometimes these zealots have a chance to drop crystal fragments as well, which is a free 100k. The setups for zealot farming varies quite a lot from player to player. You can have like young dragon nons running around with their swords, you can have juju nons running around and killing kings, and finally, probably the best, using the frozen scythe, or the precursor eye for killing them because this is the most efficient because you can just stand in one place and shoot all of them and with this people have made up to five to six million coins an hour and finally my last money making method is just a series of slayer flips that you can do in the bazaar for instance these are like golden teeth no ovoids and also the molten powder but i'll go on with that later if we move on to the no ovoids if you can see we can put order 128 null spheres which is for 2,000 coins and the enchanted obsidian is 88,000 coins which altogether are about 130,000 coins. If you look at the null over prices however and sell order it then you can see that it's around 140,000 coins which means that you actually make a 10k profit on each unit. The inferno demon lord and the amalgated crimsonite is a bit of a weird one because no one actually wants the amalgated crimsonite it's only useful for crafting the molten powder which is very useful for all the never materials in the Crimson Isle. The recipe for this is a little weird and requires lots of materials, but the profit margin of this, I've calculated it, and the materials are about 225,000 coins, and sell order, or even insta sell, is about 50,000 coins profit. And then, if you have Blaze Slayer 2, you can craft the Amalgated Crimsonite and a bit of Derelict Ash into Molten Powder, and even just by ordering this, there's just big margin. To and if you manage to get this, then this is going to make a lot of money very quickly. And with that, that concludes my money making guide. If you enjoyed this or found this at all helpful, then please make sure to subscribe and like the video. And with that, thank you for watching and time to get rich.